Good afternoon. In this video, I want to deal with the latest video by Brian Denninger, uh, where he talks about Mark of Force converts. And ironically, what you're going to see in this, this video is a Mark of a Force teacher. And at the end, all the stuff, he, he, he misdefines, mis, uh, gives a wrong definition for lordship of salvation. Lordship of salvation is not the requirement of cleaning up your life before you get saved. It is the view that once you get saved, you will bear fruit and show it and live as a disciple. Discipleship and salvation go together. They're united as one. The true biblical view is you get saved, that's an event, and then progressive salvation is a separate issue uh, as part of growth. And he even admits that he dealt with his pornography issue was still with him after he got really saved. He, dealt, he goes with moment seven. So that thing didn't go away until he had to deal with that over some period of time. So he wouldn't have thought he was really saved because he's still dealing with the same issue that he makes a big issue out of, the, the pornography issue in there. But we're going to see here his whole changed life thing goes out the window by his own words. He starts talking about the King James Bible. And because he's talking about the truth about the King James Bible, that's a pure word of God, it's all authority, it's per not my words, all authority, that, that's pure, it's a perfect word of God, he's going to come out with the truth. And you're going to see it there. He makes another point in his, truth, in his, his comment there, no one can get saved without being under conviction of sin. That's absolutely true. That's absolutely true. You cannot bypass the issue of sin when you're given the witness. That's why the book of Romans makes such a first few chapters of the old man's sin, how bad he is. And uh, so that's why you just can't skip over it. A man has to be under conviction before he recognizes he needs a Savior. But conviction is not repentance of sins. It's conviction of sins. Being under sin, not recognizing you're dead in your sins, you're helpless, you're uh, hopeless, you need a Savior, and then, of course, Jesus Christ is that Savior. That's where you go to Romans 3:24 through 26, recognizing uh, the, that uh, uh, the salvation there, that the salvation is, is found in Jesus Christ. The Father's propitiation, propitiation satisfa satisfa satisfaction by the Father. Therefore, he can be just and justify of them who believe in the Lord Jesus. So you, you believe in what he did for you. Go to Ephesians 1.12 in, in the order there uh, that the Paul talks about. You believe what he did for you on the cross, dying for your sins on the cross, the blood atonement, rose again from the dead, and then you're trusting him for your salvation. That's simple. Now we're going to see what uh, 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 Brian says very quickly. Uh, we can go back here. Let me see. One oh six. About 10632 here. See, that's why I'm so opposed to this new version mindset out there. That's why I'm a King James Bible believing Christian. I'm not King James only. Don't ever confuse me with that. That's a meaningless, meaningless difference. And they rock me also to use that. So, so I'm not a King James only because I, I have all these other versions. But we don't use you, know, you don't use other versions. That's the whole idea of King James only, because that's the only Bible you're using and believing and trusting it. So the fact that the other versions come in, he would also say, Well, we're not King James only because I have my students in and we all read from these other versions and that's not the issue of King James only. King James only means that you're only using one Bible. You only believe in one Bible. So that's what you, you know, so you're King James only issue. You could say you're King James Bible believer. It's irrelevant. But the idea is, I don't call me King James only. It's because I have these other versions and you're not using them. You know, so that means you, 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 you believe one Bible. And that means you only, you only believe the King James Bible. That's what makes you King James only is. I got a whole bunch of new versions down here. So what? I mean, that means, you know, we all got new versions. But again, you're using them to compare them to the King James Bible to show that they're wrong and the King James Bible is correct. That's why you have them. Not to use them, but to show where they're wrong. I got Greek texts. I got all... Here's Greek texts. You can't read the Greek text. Meaningless. He just points to them. Like, I got Greek text. Well, you can't read the Greek text, so it means meaningless to him. Uh, you know, just, they're just in his library. They're sitting there. All kinds of stuff. Here's Nestles and Texas Receptus and all... Yeah, so what? He's, he has them there. And you don't need them. You know, no, there's nobody need, you don't need it. No, one word of Greek to understand the King James Bible is, is the perfect word of God, pure word of God. Is, it is the Bible uh, and all authority and every issue. So you don't need you know Greek, you don't have to know any Hebrew, you don't have to know one word of that. And so that's, you know, but don't point to them as if somehow they mean something to you because they don't. They're just there in your, in your, in your library. You can't read the, the Nestle apparatus. You can't read any of that. Uh, you can't read the Greek and compare it to, you know, the issues of the receptors versus the uh, uh, Alexandrian text, uh, the critical text issues. You, you can't do it. You don't have to do it, but don't point to the books and pretend that you can. Uh, so, again, let's go move on here. The important point is, is coming up. Also, there's stuff here. 
I got all that stuff. I'm not King James only. I'm a See, having this stuff doesn't mean that's not an issue of King James only. You have thing, it, 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 not to be King James only, you'd have to be using those other things in addition to the King James Bible. Since we don't, we're King James only. So, I mean, you know, it doesn't mean, you know, these guys who want to play word games, you know. King James Bible believer. I've put this book to the test. I used new versions that whole time I was a false convert. Easier to understand and everything else, and I was going to hell. Well, you can believe the gospel and be using a modern version, but I go in hell. You've got the gospel correctly somewhere, and you happen to use those fucking the modern version. And God will reveal eventually the, the King James Bible to you, the issue. But a lot of, say, people are using modern versions, they just don't know the issue yet. And uh, so they're in ignorance, and God will, will, will have tolerance for that until they get the, uh, till they get the King James Bible issued to them. And uh, they can see that, see that they you know, get rid of those modern versions because they're, they're corrupt. I believe that this book is God's word. Do you? Well, I don't have to be. Yes, you do. The only way that you can know that you have eternal life is if you believe the written record of God's Son. The only way you can know you have eternal life is if you believe the written record of God's Son. That's exactly what he said. He starts at 107 by 14 in there to 20. The only way you can know you have eternal life is by believing, believing the written record of God's Son. Not by how you live. Not by how you live. Truth just came out of, out of Brian's mouth. As I said, he got the other thing you correct. You cannot be saved without conviction. He's absolutely correct in that, but he confuses conviction with repentance. Repentance of sins. Uh, and, uh, uh, and this week's right. But he's, he's just denied his own changed life doctrine. It, Brian has this view of changed life. He means his life physical. That's what he puts the emphasis on. His whole thing is his testimony. I was miserable. I was this. I was this. I was coming to the point of suicide. God help me. He's playing out. And then he doesn't. The issue is in heaven and hell. The issue for him is I want a better life. His thing. His his view is of Joel Austin view. A better life now. That's what he's talking about. A changed life now. God is you know God has changed my life and he's you know made a better life and he's blessed me and I've he he just changed his life here. The gospel is not dealing with your life here. The gospel is about where you're going to spend eternity. That's the issue of the gospel. He makes his emphasis on, well, you know, his testimony is, oh, I was, you know, miserable and this, that, and the other. That means I must have not been saved. A lot of people, their lives get worse after they save, after they're saved, because they get under the persecution. And so they, their life is, and get martyred. You know, a lot of people get martyred. But the point is, his, when you look at his whole thing, his whole thing is by emphasis, like, well, you know, I've changed my life, and look at this, look at this, uh, what he's doing. But he points out right here, the only way you can know for sure you have eternal life is by believing the written word of, of, of God concerning his son. That's it. Let me see if I go back and show it one more time. And I know all you husky people. You know, you guys, you know, he's an actor. A husky's an actor. He likes acting. He gets these mugs up there. He gets, has the pauses. And, he, you know, he makes these expressions. You know, he wants to pretend, you know, he's a, you know, a real evangelist out there. And, you know, he's pre preaching. And that's just an act. He's an actor. And, uh, you know, you guys don't like hearing him. That's what he does. He's got phony, false doctrine all over the place. But you don't want to hear that. You just like the guy. Same to a breaker. You know, breaker has his fans. You can get up there and lie about the history of the neo-confederacy, the whole movement. That the Confederate. Lie about it. Lie about the rapture. Lie about it. And most of you just get up there and, you know, come to me. You're, you're proud of it. You know, thumbs down, thumbs down. Okay. <laughs> okay. I don't, you know, you've been told the truth. You know, one guy correctly came up there and you rebuked him for doing that. And that's what you should do. If you like the guy when he teaches other areas and I'm sure he teaches true things in other areas, that's fine. Rebuke the guy the only when he's wrong. Rebuke him. And that's what the guy, the other, other uh, brother did. He rebuked him. He says, you're wrong teaching this rapture thing, the, you know, the signs of the rapture. That's the way you handle it. I'm not telling you to leave the guy. I'm not telling you not to listen to anything he says. I'm telling you, watch out when he's wrong. And deal with him. Tell him he's wrong. Rebuke him for being wrong. See how he handles it. Let's go here one more time here with, uh, with uh, Brian. There's stuff here. I got all that stuff. I'm not King James only. I'm a King James Bible believer. I've put this book to the test. I used new versions that whole time I was a false convert. Easier to understand than everything else, and I was going to hell. I believe that this book is God's word. Do you? Well, I don't have to be. Yes, you do. Here it comes. Listen carefully. 
The only way that you can know that you have eternal life is if you believe the written record of God's Son. The only way you can know you have eternal life is if you believe the written rec record of God's Son. The only way you, you can know you, you have eternal life is not living a changed life, is if you believe the record of God's Son. That's Brian Dennis said that. Right out of his words, he spoke a truth. Amen. Thank you.